In this video, we are going to see how to find the derivative of x to the power of x. So, if you consider x to the power of x, so the base is variable and the exponent is also variable. In any function, if we have variable as exponent and uh, we want to find derivative of it, we have to use logarithm. Okay, let us consider this one as a function as y is equal to x to the power of x. So, since the exponent is variable here, we have to use logarithm to find derivative of this one. That is the derivative of this function is dy over dx. So, I have to find what is equal to dy over dx. Okay, since there is variable in exponent, I am going to use logarithm. So, before I find derivative, first I take logarithm on both sides. In calculus, we use only natural logarithms. So, I take natural logarithm on both sides before finding derivative. So, ln y is equal to ln x to the power of x. Okay, now, on the right side, we have ln x to the power of x. The argument of the logarithm is exponential. We can use the power rule of logarithm. Power rule of uh, logarithm says, so, if the argument is exponential, the exponent can be moved in front of the logarithm. So, in the next step, we we'll have x times ln x. So, please notice here we have variable x and we have variable x in logarithm. So, both are variables when you when you want to find derivative of this one, you have to use product rule. Okay, now, we can find derivative. So, now I am going to find derivative with respect to x on both sides. When I find derivative of this ln y, it will be 1 over y. So far, I have completed derivative only for the logarithm. So further, I have to find the derivative of this argument y by chain rule. So the derivative of this y with respect to x is dy over dx. Okay, now we come to the right side. So here the two variables are multiplied. I am going to use the product rule. That means I keep the first variable x as it is find the derivative of the second variable term that is ln x. So, the derivative of ln x is just 1 over x positive. Now, I keep the second term as it is and I find the derivative of the first term x which is 1 times ln x. So, this x, x will cancel out we get 1 over y times dy over dx is equal to 1 positive 1 times ln x is ln x. Okay, now, to get rid of this 1 over y we can multiply both sides by y because we need dy over dx alone. So, we do not want this 1 over y. So, to get rid of this particular stuff 1 over y just multiply both sides of the equation by y. Okay, so, then this y y will cancel out we get dy over dx on the left side on the right side we can distribute uh, this y to 1 and ln x always we can write this y in front of the parenthesis then we get y times 1 plus ln x. So, dy over dx is equal to. So, from the given equation, we know that y is equal to x to the power of x. So, here y can be replaced by x to the power of x times 1 plus ln x. So, the derivative of x to the power of x is x to the power of x times 1 plus ln x. I hope uh, this video will be much useful for the students who study calculus. If you like this video, please uh, subscribe our channel. Thank you.